Hey Roots Drummers, Dennis Palmer here. Just wanted to talk with you real quick about some things you can do to record your live acoustic drum set at home and get a good sound with it. Uh, some of you are going to be signing up for our virtual showcase and so we're going to need to get some recordings so that we can sync it up with everything that you're doing and make you sound great for the virtual showcase. So um, here's some techniques and all of this is based around using what you've got at home. Uh, if you have equipment, if you have a USB mic, if you have uh, actual mics or anything like that uh, at home, uh, let me know and we can talk through how to use that for uh, what we're doing uh, if you have questions about it. But this is going to be really based around using your smartphone. Uh, everybody pretty much has a smartphone these days and even if you as a student don't have one, uh, your parents I'm sure do and I'm sure they'll be happy to help you with this. So um, the a couple of apps that we're going to be talking about today are going to be just the video recorder app on the iPhone. Uh, there is a comparable app on Android if that's uh, your preference. Um, we're also going to be talking about the Voice of Memos app on an iPhone. And for Android, I've heard good things about a downloadable free app called Sound Recorder. Um, so check that out. I'm not an Android person, so I've not used it, but I have some friends uh, that are very uh, competent with their Android phones and making music with them, and they have great things to say. So uh, check out that. The, so the apps, again, are just the video recorder app in an iPhone. Uh, the comparable app for Android, however you'd go about making videos on an Android. Um, and then uh, the audio apps are going to be the Voice Memo app on the iPhone or Sound Recorder on Android. So we're going to talk about uh, how to use all that. Uh, the biggest thing that you want to talk, uh, you want to take into consideration whenever you are recording yourself on drums with a phone is placement. Um, so you don't want to be dragging your drums around and things like that. Uh, so what you, what's e much easier to move is your phone. Um, so if you are, uh, you want to make sure that you're not close to your drums. And by that, try to be between 12 and 15 feet, usually, away from your drums with your phone when you're recording audio. Uh, the other thing that you want to do when you're just recording audio, and this applies to the Sound Recorder app, and to the voice memos app. You want to point your microphone, which is on the bottom of your phone. If you're, uh, if you're an iPhone user, it's going to be this part of your phone right here. See, this is, this is the bottom. Uh, you want to make sure that's pointed away from the drum set. Uh, you can point it towards the wall. And in fact, sometimes pointing it and having it close to the wall can get you some really good sound from your phone. We'll get into that a little bit later, but make sure it's pointed away. The other thing that you can do is have your phone around a corner. So like, for example, if your room is in your bedroom and the door is across the room or something like that, and it goes out into the hallway, set your phone on a chair around the corner from the door. Um, and uh, again, make sure that the mic is turned away from the direction of the drum set. And you can actually get some really good sound that way. You might disturb everybody in the house, so nice be nice to give them some warning before you start. Um, but what we what that all that accomplishes is it it tries to take out what we call transients in the drum sound. That's what causes the mics to overload. I know we've done some Zoom lessons and things like that, and um, we had to turn off some of the uh, system settings to allow those transients to come through because Zoom wants to cut those off. But for these recordings, uh, we want to minimize those. And so having the mic on your phone pointed away or having it out in the hall or something like that uh, helps to do that. Um, so those are going to be some real quick tips for making the recording. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is you've got to make sure that we're getting video. Okay, so video sort of limits some of your placement options because we have to be able to see you play the drums. That's really what we want anyway with these recordings. So, we, But we want them to sound good and we want them to look good. So there's a couple of things that you can do, a couple of uh, techniques. First, um, place the phone across the room from the drum set. Um, really about as far as you can get it. Now you don't want to you know, place it, I don't know how big your rooms are, but if you have a big room, you don't want to place it so far across the room that you look really tiny in the room. But, um, you know, have it placed a good distance again so we're minimizing those audio transients uh, from your drum set. 
um, you know, and, and your drums look nice too. So, you know, we, let's try to get those in the shot. Um, we're going to have another separate video about things you can do to the drums to make them sound better too. But for now, we're just going to focus on the recording. So uh, the first thing you can do, use the video recorder app. You want to have it turned long ways so that your phone is like this and not like this when you do the recording. This is great for Instagram videos, not so great for what we're doing for the showcase. So we're going to have it set up just like this. Uh, and make sure that your phone makes that adjustment as well. Um, so have it across the room, have it do where you look good in the shot. Uh, don't have it too far away. And then use the video recorder app just to, uh, to record you playing. Now when you're playing along to the tracks that I've sent you, you wanna have them playing in your ears on headphones so that you can hear them and play along to them, but we don't wanna record the track audio in the video that we're making. All, we, all the audio we want in the video that we're making is just the sound of you playing your drums. We'll handle putting the track audio with it back here at Roots. The other option that you have is to, you, this will actually require you to use two phones. You can use your, you can use one phone positioned wherever you want uh, to record the audio or to record the video uh, so that you know you can get a little closer if you'd like and then you can use a separate phone positioned away from the drums um, around the corner you know or back against the wall something like that um, to uh, to record the audio separately um, if you want to do something like this uh, all I would ask is once you have both devices recording you'll have you'll turn on the this phone recording the audio you'll turn on the phone recording the video before you start playing with the track, give me a clap or give me a stick click or something like that. We use that sound to line up the two, the, the, the video and the audio that you send. And you can send those separately. We'll sync them up all here at Root, so don't worry about trying to figure out how to do any of that. Just send us the files. Um, so once you have it recorded, either the video with the uh, audio of you playing or the video and the separate audio, um, you'll want to you want to send both of those to us. Once you've got that all sent off to us, we'll put it all together. Uh, my goal is to have them put together so that I can send it back to you so you can hear it before the broadcast. I'd love to be able to do that. Um, Again, if you have questions about any of this, please contact Roots. Uh, they can put you in contact with me, and uh, I can talk you through it. We can email about it. We can text about it, whatever works best for you. Uh, but I'm here to help and here to be a resource.